Hey team, EMP here, and today was day one, uh, I guess slash two, of the Warlock reveal. Uh, I know uh, I wanted to condense this information uh, as much as possible for the um, for the community, at least as much as I could. Uh, so we're just going to jump right into it, try to keep it as short as possible, get the information out, and maybe you can start to theory craft for some of the information. So today obviously was the Warlock reveal. Um, we were revealed um, that we have the uh, Chthonic Fissure, um, the Chaos Bolts, uh, Ghost Flame, Soul Feast, Profane Veil uh, for the Warlock class, as well as the five curses uh, that the Warlock class brought to the game. Uh, fairly sure that these curses are not uh, specific to the Warlock, but the Warlock obviously would... Um, be best for them so we're going to start right away with soul stealer uh this is the top left node here which is increases mana regen and effect cooldown and then you have chaos flames which is increased fire damage this was just an overview um increased fire damage uh, uh ignite chance with fire skills necrotic damage damn chance with necrotic skills this is also applies to minions so this is a node that you can obviously use for the necro um, then you have Occultist Mine, which is the intel buff, um, and you gain additional mana per point of intel um, at the at the 5 scale. Uh, then you have Unholy Torment, spell damage for curses, increased area for curses. Uh, health Leech, uh, a quarter percent per point, and then Health Leech against Cursed, which is a quarter per point. And then you have increased damage over time. Uh, and health and the five point bonus is more damage over time to curse four percent and then you have cauldron of blood um which is a bleed chance uh this works directly at uh with five point bonus with rip blood uh then you have increased physical damage on crimson uh, crimson favors uh rip uh bleed chance with rip blood obviously this again associates with rip blood um, you have Harrowing Armor, uh, which is basically adds a base armor and health per point with a five point bonus with more armor per curse on a target. So the more enemies that are cursed, the more armor you're going to have. Uh, Dark Protections, which is ward per second, uh, five point bonus being 2% less damage uh, per ta uh, taken per curse on a target. Obviously, there are several curses now available in the game. And then you have Ward of Malevolence, which is uh, Ward Decay Threshold um, and Ward Gain on Kill, as well as Ward Per Second Per to Intelligence while channeling. You do have a channeling skill, as we saw today. You do have a channeling skill. Um, Imperishable uh, Vitality is one per point with the three point bonus of Ward Decay Threshold per 1% Necrotic Resistance. So uh, that was alluded today in the reveal that Necrotic resistance is pretty paramount uh so you get ward decay threshold per one percent necrotic res and it's one for one so stack that necro res boys and girls um you have doom herald which is less damage to take in while channeling three percent per point more damage to damned while channeling and you have vile tide which is poison uh deals Deals poison deals poison damage. Duh. Uh, that might be redundant. Over time, in the last three seconds, the first 30 stacks each uh, each reduce poison resistance by five. Um, poison overload grants you four percent plus four percent poison penetration per stack of poison on a target. With a five point bonus, you have um, when you cast a damage over time skill, and enemies within 15 meters have combined 25 or more stacks of poison. You gain Poison Overload for 12 seconds, and you cast Defiling Nova, and then we see the alt text for Defiling Nova. Uh, so this can be like, um, it's going to be like a cast on hit effect. And then you have Rancid Concoction, um, Ward on Potion Use, and Mana Gain on Potion Use. Ooh, Mana Gain on Potion Use. While you have Poison Overload, using a potion spread stacks of your poison from all enemies within 15 meters to two other enemies enemies nearby um and then uh poison number of poison spreads within 15 meters wither withering chance on hit 
which is 20% per point, and then your five point bonus is less damage taken from withered, uh, withered enemies. Uh, encroaching darkness, uh, enemies anguished on cursed cast, one per point. And then you have Dustbringer, spell damage four curses. It adds a base three per point with a three point bonus being hit in a boss or rare enemy now also triggers damage from anguish. And then you have uh, Malefic Body, which is uh, in intel and vitality base. Uh, Chaotic Strikes, which is you get a double damage chance. Uh, double damage chance per curse increases by 0.2% uh, uh, per point. Critical Multiplier, obviously that's always nice. Uh, three point bonus is going to be the, uh, the double damage from Chaotic Strikes nodes. The Chaotic Strikes node has additional Critical Strike Multiplier, which is 30% uh, flat. And then you have Aspect of Death, Increase Health, more damage per negative ailment on you. Um, and your three point bonus is you inflict damned on yourself when you or your minions kill a target or take a hit. And then you have a Cursed Seer, uh, increase cast speed, increase cast speed for curses. And then your three point bonus is you cleanse all curses when reaching low health. Uh, ward gain uh, per cleansed uh, curse on you is 100. This implies obviously self cursing. Um, fleeting crone, you have a chance to gain haste for two seconds when you kill a cursed enemy um, or when you hit a cursed boss or rare. Um, and you, you get your haste chance base there. You see haste chance with hitting boss or rare and increased haste effect. Increased damage over time with a five point bonus. Um, you deal more more damage over time um, for each active, I'm assuming that's meant to say active overload. Uh, more damage over time per overload. And you have Chains of Ruined. Uh, uh, when you cast necrotic skills, uh, I'm sorry, damn chance 13 per point and then when you cast their five point bonuses skill and enemies within 50 meters have combined 20 stacks or more of damned you chain all damned enemies together to the ground for two seconds and gain damned overload for 12 seconds Ooh, cc on it and then grasping nation uh you have increased chains duration and increased damn duration while you have damned overload you have a chance to chain nearby enemies to the ground uh, each second. This is your five point bonus. And then uh, we have an alt text for Infernal Lash. Uh, when you, the five point bonus is when you cast a fire skill and enemies within 15 meters have combined 25 or more stacks of ignite. You strike up to three nearby ignited enemies with flame whip and gain ignite overload, overload for 12 seconds. And obviously you see the alt text for flame whip over there. And then Scorched Reached, increased fire damage with a five point bonus. You have Flame Whip uh, on hit or kill against Ignited. And then you have the Ashen One, increased necrotic damage and increased elemental damage. Obviously this class is scaling what looks to be fire and necrotic. When you gain Ignite Overload or Damned Overload, all Ignited and Damned enemies within 50 meters are inflicted with Witch Fire and Witch Fire on Ignite or Damned Overload. Uh, you have Grimhild's Domain, uh, which is just more witch fire damage, more witch fire damage. Uh, number of witch fire spreads within 10 meters. And this was the overall base. And these are some of the curses here. We have the Torment Curse, which deals 120 spell necrotic damage over three seconds with added damage applying at 200% effectiveness per second and reduces movement by 12. It cannot stack. And then you have Acid Skin, which is a curse which deals 80 poison damage over five seconds with added damage, applying 80% effectiveness, uh, and adds 20% chance to be critically hit, like Aaron alluded to. Uh, more stacks equals guaranteed crit. Decrepify is a curse. This is Decrepify. Decrepify is a curse which deals 200 physical damage over 10 seconds with added damage, applying at 100% effectiveness per second, and causes the target to take more damage from damage over time based on the caster's missing health. This is obviously alluding to a low life setup for the um, the Warlock. 
And then Penance is a curse that lasts for 15 seconds, which causes affected targets to take 20 spell fire damage when they hit another target, but it does not stack. And then I think this is the last one. Anguish is a curse that lasts 10 seconds, reduces damage over time dealt, and deals necrotic damage to all enemies afflicted uh, with it whenever you kill an enemy. It cannot stack. That is the information for the day. Um, what does all this really mean? Well, it means we're going to have to wait a little bit longer to get some skill trees inside each of the five skills. So we, we do know that we do have the five skills. Obviously with the information that we already do have, we can make some assumptions here. Um, this is where the chain normally will be, which means the Acolyte class, which means the Necro, uh, the Necromancer and the Lich are going to have access to Chaos Bolts and they're also gonna have access to Ghost Flame. That being said, with the passives that we recently just went over, you can theory craft your way up to here, um, knowing that your necros can use up to here and ghost flame and chaos bolts, or your liches can go up to here using chaos, uh, go up ghost flame or chaos bolts. I'm not going to run this on too long. This is the information that we got, and I just try to condense it down for you as much as possible. Hopefully, this video helps you out, help you decide where you want to go for your first time when you jump into Last Epoch, or maybe not your first time, maybe your hundredth time or more. Uh, if you do have questions, I will be in my Twitch channel as always on a daily basis, 10 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Pacific. And as always, in this game, as in life, get good shitties. We'll see you real soon.